the Donald Danforth Plant Science Center focuses scientific research at the nexus of food, energy, and the environment to improve the productivity and sustainability of agriculture. Joining us now is Chris Danforth of the Danforth Leadership Council. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. Well, for those people who don't know exactly what the Dan Donald Danforth Plant Science Center is, why don't you give us a brief history? Sure. It was founded in uh, 1998, and it's a nonprofit, independent uh, research center that is focused uh, on, on plant science, uh, with the belief that um, the plant science is really used to uh, enhance uh, our three parts of our mission. One is uh, uh, enhance food security on a global scale, also um, sustainability to renew, uh, renew and, and preserve the environment, and the third prong really is in focused in St. Louis and and making sure that, that we're using our resources here in, in you know, the middle of uh, America, uh, our, our strongest resources in plant and agriculture to make St. Louis a robust uh, entrepreneurial community um, that we see as kind of the, the next wave of innovation uh, and, and hopeful uh, commercial and, and corporate development. Now, all that said, I know exactly where this facility is located. It's on Olive between Morrison and Lindbergh. Correct. And I was saying to you a little bit earlier that I remember when it was first built and over the years how much it's really grown and it's an incredible facility now, which says to me that it's doing exactly what you just said it's meant to do. So talk about some of the things that have come out of this facility. Well, um, it's, uh, you know, it, it has grown over a uh, number of years. We just kind of... Um, went through a new renovation project that wrapped up a, a number of months ago. I think there are currently about 170 scientists working on all sorts of different things, um, a lot of which is taking t technology and science and applying them into smallholder farmers, as an example, uh, in, in Africa, in sub-Saharan Africa, and really facing challenge of, of drought, uh, food security, um, increasing um, productivity and uh, nutritional value of food that then the, the center is working on to, to give to these smallholder farmers. So it's a completely nonprofit, uh, mission-driven uh, institution. Why is it so important that facilities like this exist? Well, the, the biggest challenge that I think we face as a problem, uh, as, in a global sense, is that uh, we've got to essentially double food productivity in the next 30 years uh, with less inputs, with less water, and with less land. So we have an increase in, in population. We have an increase of a population that is um, not only growing in numbers, but growing in uh, their, their intake of food. Uh, they're moving into cities, so there is less farming. There's more uh, developments being built. So uh, again, uh, providing doubling their food productivity um, uh, in the next generation uh, with less resources. Have you seen that begin to take hold? Yes, absolutely. How are we? How are we seeing this? Um, well, I mean, there's uh, again a, a lot of uh, drought-resistant crops um, uh, in in Africa that that the, the center is, is is working on. Um, that is, uh, you know, it's it's a it's a long uh, road ahead, and it takes a lot of uh, effort and takes a lot of uh, uh, time to to develop these. But they are certainly on on the pathway to. Uh, having some major success stories. See, now I actually think it's pretty amazing that something like that here in St. Louis is reaching someplace so far in the world and making a difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It is amazing, and in St. Louis, in fact, has more plant science PhDs than anywhere anywhere else in the world, which uh, not many people know about. But um, we are in the perfect place to have an institution uh, like the Plant Science Center to really uh, solve these these critical problems. Well, we have to take a quick break, but when we come back, you actually have an event coming up yeah. that the public can join in and be a part of with you. So let's talk about that right after this break. Great. There's more STL Live after this. Stay with us.